questions which I am asked by people these days is, is milk consumption related to type 1 diabetes? When the child gets type 1 diabetes, they start thinking, why did my child get this diabetes? What did we do wrong? And then they read somewhere in the social media that there have been some reports that there are some types of milk which produce type 1 diabetes. In fact, milk is nowadays classified into A1 milk and A2 milk. So what is this A1 and A2 milk? Milk contains some protein which is called as the casein protein. And this casein protein, I'm not going to a lot of uh, the, uh, technical jargon and confusing you, but depending on the mutations which occur due to cross breeding, most of the uh, cows and the cattle that we have in India produce milk which is called as the A2 milk. This depends on the composition of the casein protein. Now A2 milk is considered to be very good. What happened was that in some countries like New Zealand or some of the Scandinavian countries, uh, especially in Northern Europe, in order to increase the yield of the milk, they started cross mating the bulls and the cows with different strains. And this led to a different form of casein protein in the milk, which is called as the A1 milk. Now this A1 milk has been linked in epidemiological studies to several diseases. Some of them include type 1 diabetes, schizophrenia, autism. These are some of the diseases been linked to this A1 milk. But when they went deeper into that, and try to do mechanistic studies to see whether it's really true that this A1 milk produces diseases, they were not able to prove anything. So there is some epidemiological and ecological evidence that in these northern countries in Europe and in New Zealand, there is some overlap between the consumption of this A1 milk and type 1 diabetes and one or two other diseases. But it's really not been proven. In India, most of the milk that we have is the A2 milk. But again, in an attempt to increase the milk production, there have been some hybrid varieties where some amount of the A1 milk and sometimes A1, A2 milk together have started coming in some parts of our country. It's very unlikely, first of all, that A1 milk actually produces type 1 diabetes. It's more likely that because mother's milk was not given, and they switched over to cow's milk, whether it's A1 or A2, it doesn't matter. They, they contain different proteins from what is present in the mother's milk. And therefore, there could be some kind of an antigen-antibody reaction, what we call as autoimmunity, which led to the type 1 diabetes. This is just one of the many, many causes, and we really don't know what causes type 1 diabetes. To answer in a nutshell, milk does not produce type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. In fact, we have published papers to show that milk, even whole dairy milk, is actually good for people with diabetes. It actually protects against diabetes. It protects against heart disease. And therefore, having a glass or two of your milk, don't worry about it. Please go ahead and take it. It gives you calcium. It gives you protein. It gives you so many things that milk has, nutrients that milk has, that people should take milk. But don't take too much of milk because anyway it's cow's milk. It's not human milk. And therefore, restrict the amount of milk that you take to one or two glasses per day and you're fine. Don't worry too much about this A1 milk and A2 milk. The government of India has done detailed studies on this, has brought out a white paper on this. They have consulted all the dairy specialists in the country and the conclusion was that there is no evidence that this A1 milk and A2 milk is very important to study or that A1 milk is related to any disease. So forget about it and go ahead and take the milk as you normally do.